All right, uh, we're going to do a mad dash now. We've mentioned J and J. We'll just do it here. But we're standing, so that's yes. always nice. Historically, people trade J and J wrong. They see the numbers point black, and they say, "Wow, much better than expected." They bid the stock up. That's what happened this morning. At six ten, they took it to one sixty two. Now, who does this thing? I don't know. Robo individuals. Then they get on the call, and the call is very cerebral, and you don't get the you get a very good number of bounds. And a lot of the things that they're doing, especially med tech, really, really strong. Okay, but they also have you know, they have great cancer franchise. And then David, there are two ethereal issues that people are trying to get their arms around. One is they gave you Ken View. They you they brought Kenview public, the right. consumer business, and they're going to do an exchange, exchange offer. People have to understand how that works and how, whether Johnson Johnson is going to buy back stock from you. Right. But they still own a lot of Kenview, right. but, oh, but they're not going to. Right. right. So that's really big. And then the other thing that they, they've had a very hard time talking about in any way, because it's a black box, is what's going to happen with talc. And they, the lost, a, they uh, lost a big decision the other day. Related to, million. right, their production right. of talc and the claims that right. it, this that is it not, has asbestos in it. I don't know where the hell we got this. This isn't even right. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I don't mean to denigrate. It's just that the stock is, is holding in yeah. uh, after jumping up. And what I, people, I want people to take away is, is that if you want to view this as med, as a pharma, it's the fastest grower. If you want to view it as med tech, it and Abbott, which had a very good quarter, our, 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 our can, we go back, can we go back a little bit longer, five what? years maybe? I'm just curious to see but what it's, it's been done a over huge the last five years. That's, and yeah. that's where I'm going. It's been a huge underperformer. Thank you. I mean, even as it has great technology. That's not great, Jim. Well, this isn't great. No, that's not great either. No. And this is a plaintiff's bonanza. They're offering $8.9 billion after they just lost this $18 million suit in Alameda County earlier this week. The plaintiff's may not be satisfied with $8.9 billion, and the judge that they're in front of is a no-go judge that they're going to have to appeal to if it doesn't work. So, so why, and, why own it? Why own it? Because it's, okay, that's a great question. One, it's one of two AAA balance sheet companies in America, along with J.P. Morgan, and two, it's got the strongest drug portfolio other than Eli Lilly. Yeah, other than Eli Lilly, and, which and, trumps it in market value, did you by you see the, the way. Eli Lilly, people are putting out a $42 billion number. In sales, really, majority from in, in, in uh, out ten years, forty-two billion be the largest drug in history. That's a diabetes and, and weight loss, drug. and it most likely would be covered by insurance. And they're going to take it by Medicare. Yes, they um, will pay for it. Right now, because, it's very controversial because if you take people's weight down, there's so many other things, beneficial things that happen that blood you save the health. Blood dramatically. You save the healthcare system potentially right. money. Blood pressure comes down dramatically, uh, and now, the one that—that's yeah. a five-year that I like. Jim. Well, because right David there. Ricks, Look David, at that. David Ricks is fabulous. Look at that and versus J and J. David Ricks is so non-promotional. He's fabulous. And, David, you know what's an unbelievable thing? Where was thing? the person to tell me, get rid of J&J &J and buy this fight? Well, I, I, we own both the J&J &J and Lilly for the trust, so I feel it's me because I've been emphasizing Lilly. Now, let me just say one other thing about Lilly. There's, a, there's something, there's a Santa Voce aspect of, Lil, of Lilly that people aren't talking about, is that heavy drinkers don't like the taste of alcohol once they start taking the drug. So they're going to do a study, first time ever, because alcohol is so bad for you. If you can't get off alcohol, they're going to give you. Is it really so bad for you? So really, not well, even a the, glass you know, of wine or two? So bad? They're really. Really, it's, it's tobacco and then. Have you alcohol. like cut it out now? Suddenly, are you? Well, I, I, mean, I own a mezcal company. No, no, I mean, I'm Mr. Mezcal. I mean, you know, <laughs> damn, I mean, come on, I got, I got a product well, to sell I, here. I wouldn't say that it's so bad for you then. That's not good sales. Well, I, 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 I mean, it's like Diet Coke, wine. It's, it's not as it's not as heavy. <laughs> No, I'm just saying that if you're a heavy drinker, it's, it's a could, very bad thing be, for you. That's what I'm saying. There's a possibility of yet another indication. It's, so this thing not only will the, they're going to do tests will, for blood pressure, and heavy obesity, drinker. but also potentially. I'm just alcohol. telling you what the doctors are working on uh, in terms of big trials: okay. heavy drinker trial and blood pressure trial.